Hello there, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this shameless promotional video. Let's get into it. So some disclaimers. Uh, this was really, really requested. It's been requested a number of times and I'm finally getting off my butt and doing it. But I am definitely looking at this video as the kind of thing that is for a very particular audience and that is those of you that are really curious <laughs> about shopping for the right size Peggy bag for your deck. I'm totally standing up because I felt like stretching my legs. So uh, I'm gonna sit down in a moment and we're gonna go through all of the various Peggy bag sizes. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, hi, uh, I'm Lisa, I have a tarot channel and uh, here on YouTube and my wife makes all of my tarot bags and reading cloths and other beautiful fabric-y things you see on the channel. She has a lot of people that like to buy her stuff and sometimes they don't know the right size. And I just thought it'd be good to get this out there as a handy dandy resource that you guys can have and refer back to and that she can share and point people to when they're like, hey, what size bag uh, do I need for this? So we're gonna go over all of Peggy's stuff. Again, shameless promotion in this video. So if that annoys you, just skip, just skip to the next one. There'll be something more entertaining in general. It's coming soon. So when Peggy first started her shop, she started off with drawstring bags. I'm sorry, she doesn't have embroidery anymore. That's an old embroidered one, but I'm just gonna give you an idea of the size range for her classic drawstring bags. And I'm gonna show you the range of decks and things that fit in them because this is how she started her Etsy shop. Now, to be completely fair, she altered existing drawstring bag designs. I know it seems like not that big of a deal. A drawstring bag is a drawstring bag, except when it's not. <laughs> so I'm going to brag about my wife for a moment. Again, bear with, I did warn you, this is what this video was gonna be about. When Peggy first started making bags like this, it was because I needed bags for my rapidly growing tarot collection. The bags that were on the market at the time were not great. <laughs> they were all I'd ever had. They were usually stretchy velvet and one of maybe five colors and unlined and they would fray or fall apart or they'd be those like see-through like um, uh, what do you call those organza bags or they're just there wasn't a lot of good quality stuff out there and so basically I brought my issues to Peggy. Oh and also they were basically all the same size. Uh, I basically brought my issues to Peggy and said like those standard sizes that that was one thing when decks were all the same size because there was a time when all the tarot decks were basically like standard tarot size but as independent decks started coming out decks were coming out in other sizes and then this thing happened where we started running out of space and peggy's like hey why don't you put up a wall rack thing and you can hang your decks in bags from their strings on hooks on the wall which was an ingenious idea i will pop up some photos of what that system looks like if you've never seen it on my channel it's ingenious and it saves me tons of space. So then of course I needed a new bag for every single deck I owned and it, it just kind of took, took off from there. So Peggy started making this particular design because I kept bringing her all of my problems with the designs that were out there, what my issues were, and she just started fixing it. So this is the braggy part, but this was the original flagship Peggy bag. It's her standard bag size. And the, the main, there's a few design things that she did, but the punchline of it is, is that she, sort of altered existing drawstring bag designs to create a bag that would be lined. So it's got more than one type of fabric in it. And it's got one fabric on the outside and another fabric on the inside. So it's two layers, so it holds up really well. And then she designed the way of making it in such a way that there would be no exposed seams anywhere in the bag. Not at the edges where the drawstrings come out, not anywhere inside the bag, everything's fully enclosed, which means the bag can't fray or fall apart in that way. Um, and then she started making them all from cottons. Um, this is actually one of her original when she wasn't making them out of cotton. So this is an old, old one. Um, but initially she would make them out of various materials and then she settled on cotton because it's just really, really durable. Okay, so this size very specifically came about because of such a wide variety of decks. So for a long time, all of my bags were in this exact same size because this was the only size. And this is a size that will hold basically any standard size deck. So I'll just grab, I mean, it's gonna be big, but I'll show you. So this is the standard Peggy bag. And you can tell it'll obviously hold a standard size deck, but you'll have quite a bit of room around it. So a standard size deck, like this is like a Llewellyn deck, in a standard Peggy bag, it's gonna be roomy, right? Like you can feel there's room around that. So it's pretty roomy, but I don't mind that. So that came out, but it would also hold independent decks. So here's a first edition Dark Goddess Tarot, which is actually the deck that goes in this bag, because I wanted to hang my independent decks in their boxes in the bag. And here's a chunkier independent deck to give you an idea of the fit. Same size bag, but there's the Shimmering Veil Tarot, and it is in a bag 
or sorry, it's in its box and it also lives. Now this one is a, not, it's not snug, like it slides in and out just fine. I, I make it look like I'm having to squeeze it and I'm not. It slides in just fine and it does close basically all the way around and that's a qu quite chunky fit, but that gives you an idea of what fits in a standard size Peggy bag. So this is always pretty much the bag she'll have the most variety up in the shop at any one time because um, this is the size that fits like the widest range of stuff. This is great if you keep your decks in their chunky indie boxes. Um, it's great if you um, wanna have room for a crystal or a cloth in with your deck. This is the most versatile size. So this is the one she makes the most of as far as drawstring bags goes. So the other thing she did, by the way, quality wise, is she upgraded the cords to something much sturdier. So anyways, that is the standard flagship drawstring Peggy bag. So that is the kind of stuff that fits in that. So then the next size to come about, I think was the large. So I'm gonna show you a large. Now again, never mind the um, embroidery. She did embroider for a short time. She's not currently embroidering. But this is a bag that she designed for me specifically to hold extra chunky, large, independent decks that come in boxes. And so the deck that we used as a template for this size bag, here I'll, sh I'll actually pull out a standard so you can see the size difference here, was the Moonchild Tarot. Because the Moonchild Tarot came out and it was just huge. It was just a monster of a deck. So you can really see... So this is a large Peggy bag and this is a standard. So you have more height and more width. So this size is really great for extra, extra big decks. So decks like the Moonchild Tarot in its box will fit beautifully in that size. Um, another example of a really chunky deck might be this Affirmator's Tarot. So see how these are both like just huge. So the Affirmator's Tarot also fits comfortably in a large size bag. And there's even just a little bit of room because the idea of the large was to hold the stuff that you just simply couldn't fit in a standard. Um, another example of what would fit in a large is something I actually have in a large right now. And that is this. This is a mega combined deck. So this is the illustrated herbiary, bestiary, and crystallary decks all together. And they fit beautifully in a large. So it just depends what you're holding but typically large is for the stuff that's just like, it's extra big, right? So think Moonchild, think these big combined decks, but big, big will fit in the large. So if you're not sure if it'll fit in a standard, let's say it's extra chunky, extra big, like bigger than Shimmering Veil, Tarot, that sort of thing, you might wanna upsize to a large, particularly if you're gonna keep your deck in with its box or if it has a particularly chunky guidebook, right? And we're talking again, Bigger than, stand, bigger than a standard indie deck. Like oversized indie decks are probably gonna fit best into a large. Yeah, hopefully that, that clarifies that. So let's talk about the next size down. So we have large, we have standard, and then we have small. So small was designed for this kind of deck, right? A loose Llewellyn basic. This is their old cardstock too, but this is a loose Llewellyn deck. The small, let me just show you the difference here. A small is notably narrower, right? And shorter than a standard. It is not designed to hold decks in chunky boxes. This will hold a loose deck like a Llewellyn deck beautifully. It'll also hold, so here's another example of a small I have. It will also hold slightly bigger independent decks that don't have guidebooks but are loose, right? If they're not too terribly thick and chunky, so this is the Playful Heart Tarot, which you can see is a bigger deck, right? It's definitely, it's definitely bigger than like a Llewellyn, um, taller. So if you have a deck that's like in a tuck box, doesn't have a big chunky guidebook, um, and that you're not gonna keep in a thicker, chunkier box, then the small is probably the right size for you, okay? So small, think tuck box, think not cardstock that's mega thick. So like a pretty much a standard size deck, low Scarabeo, Llewellyn, um, just about anything mass market or independent that is not independent uh, linen decks if they're not going to be in a chunky box and they don't have a chunky guidebook because that's like a perfect fit, right? But we sized, I kind of helped her obviously with the sizing because I was like, these are the sizes of decks. Um, so you'll see you have a bit more wiggle room on a Llewellyn deck. This is again the older cardstock, which was a little thinner than their current cardstock, um, but they all fit beautifully in this size. So anytime I have a tuck box standard size tarot deck, I go for a small. So that is the size of the small. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this deck out so we can still see the size comparison over here. So then she came out with the minis. Now the minis came about because there were these mini sized and poker sized deck, 
So smaller pocket size decks are perfect for the mini bag. So you can see that is the size there. So anything that is poker sized, again, not super, super crazy chunky, will fit perfectly in a mini bag. So I have here the Earthbound Oracle, and I also have the Weird of Sarah Howard, which is also this kind of poker size. So this size is like a playing card size of deck. So those fit perfectly, provided they're not overly chunky, that sort of thing. You can also put the little micro decks, the little mini decks that come out from um, mass market publishers in these mini bags as well. So that is what the mini was designed to hold. And I'll go ahead and set that aside with this mini bag on top. So these are the sizes of drawstring. We have, they're pretty well lined up I think here, yeah. So we have large, standard, small, and mini. And this same format was used to develop the sizing for her other type of bag, which is the pocket pouches, which I'm gonna be showing you next. So Peggy came up with this pouch design for people that don't like the drawstring bags, but still wanna house their decks in bags. Now these were designed mostly to hold loose style decks. And actually there's one more size right here, which I'll talk about more separately. So we have micro, we have mini, these are both minis, small and standard. So let's talk through these sizes because the sizes are meant to align with the drawstring sizes. So the standard size drawstring, or excuse me, the standard size pocket pouch, uh, fun fact, does hold a Kindle Paperwhite perfectly. So um, that's actually what lives in my standard pocket pouch, but I'm gonna show you the decks that fit in here. But you'll be able to see, in fact, I'll show you. This is the, pocket, the standard size drawstring and this is the standard size pocket pouch. So the only thing you really lose on a pocket pouch is a little bit of the height. So if you have a particularly tall deck, actually I think this one would still fit. Yep. So the Dark Goddess Tarot would still fit inside of its box in a standard pocket pouch. But if you had a chunkier deck, so let's look at the example of the um, Shimmering Veil Tarot, which I showed you in a standard Peggy bag. If I try to shove this thing with the box, it's not going to fit because we just don't quite have enough of that height. But these were really designed to hold decks outside of their boxes, my opinion. I feel like most people who are gonna put a deck in here, you're gonna wanna fit a, a nice sized indie deck and it's guidebook in here. And that is what the standard pocket pouch is designed for. And it's designed so that you can sort of fold over if you, depends on how wide your, wide your deck is. You can obviously put in an even wider deck, but it's designed so that you fold it over a little bit and kind of wrap it around like that. And it has an elastic loop. And this is so cool. So you take your fingers in the elastic loop and you just kind of, see what I've done here? I'm just grabbing the top of your deck. You loop it around and then you just basically bring, Peggy shows it where you put a finger here and you just wrap it around and that is all contained. So this is really great if you want something that's more of an envelope style. Um, and the elastic is really convenient for getting in and out quickly. You don't have to fuss with buttons or snaps or anything like that that could, event could actually push into your deck too, which is nice. So this is really designed for decks that you wanna have available to you, but you don't necessarily, you're not, you're not keeping them like say in their box, like the big chunky box, but it holds a really wide variety of decks. Like you can see, I had quite a bit of room with the Shimmering Veil Tarot, and this is a pretty wide deck. In fact, just for experiment's sake, and I've never done this, so we're just gonna see if it works out. Let me put this back in its box. But just for comparison's sake, let's try the Moonchild Tarot. Let's see here, where do we go? There we go. Let's try the Moonchild Tarot and its guidebook, just not in the box, and see if that fits, because I suspect it would. Yep. So that is the Moonchild Tarot, not in its box. And that also fits. The same thing as before. There we go. It's just chunkier, right? So you can actually hold a pretty wide variety of stuff in the standard sized pocket pouch. But again, for some, it's going to be a little too roomy for their, say, Llewellyn style or tuck, tuck box size decks. So just like how the standard bag is for your chunkier or indie decks or your decks with bigger guide, like bigger um, deck size guidebooks, the chunky, chunky monkeys go in here. Um, so much in the same way as this small drawstring is for your tuck box sized decks, your small pocket pouch 
that's this one, is for your tuck box or Llewellyn sized decks as well. Now I happen to have the tarot disassembled, which doesn't have a guidebook um, in here. And I would say it fits fine. So this will hold even a chunky indie deck, but it's one, but only one that doesn't have a guidebook. So this fits in a small sized pocket pouch. But again, I'm gonna show you the sizing. As you can see, it's just a touch narrower than a, it's actually not because the, the flap assumes you're gonna have a bit of fold over, right? So you have about the same exact width, but you lose a little tiny bit on the height because of course the drawstring bags were designed for this portion here to hold the deck. And usually the drawstring portion is what you need for being able to close over top of the deck. So these were designed just a little bit shorter but same width. So the same kind of decks you would put in a small drawstring bag, you can put in a small pocket pouch. So again, a standard size deck with no guidebook would fit in this drawstring or this, but I typically use this size, just grabbing my Llewellyn, my Everyday Witch Tarot, but typically this size is perfect for a Llewellyn or other tuck box sized deck. So a standard deck that's not overly chunky is going to go in here really, really nicely. And look super cute. So this is among the smallest um, tuck box size decks I have, but this is literally the perfect size for your standard basic tarot deck. So if you have like a Rider Waite Smith, um, anything with a little white book and not a big chunky book, anything in a standard style cardstock, that sort of thing. That is what you would use the small size for. So there's our small pocket pouch. So the next size down, um, I use this size all the time. This is the mini. And the mini size is exactly, do we see a trend here? It's exactly the same as the mini drawstring, but again, you just don't have this drawstring portion of height. So as long as your deck is not too tall, this will hold any of your, the same exact kind of decks, right? So the mini pocket pouch will hold your poker sized decks. So that's the Weird of Sarah Howard. It will hold your poker sized Llewellyn or like my little Earthbound Oracle here will fit really nicely. And I found that as long as the cardstock is not too thick, it will hold a quite regular standard poker size um, tarot deck. So this is a poker sized um, linen card stock tarot. This is the Notorious JBG tarot by uh, Julie Peekaboo Rose. And that lives in this little mini pocket pouch. Same exact system, right? You still have your little drawstring. And then this one has a trimmed deck. Yes, this has my little mini, well, it's a mini because it's trimmed, but this is the uh, Llewellyn Tarot with all of the borders taken off. But it basically is the same size and it fits in a mini perfectly. But this is also the size that's perfect, like I said, for bridge and poker sized um, Lenormand decks, that kind of thing, will fit perfectly in this little mini size. So that, let me set this little Llewellyn deck aside. So that is the mini pocket pouch. Now you'll notice, um, that I don't have, I have one more size to talk about and it's the micro. Um, we're gonna talk about that next, but you'll notice there's no large pocket pouch. And that is because once it gets that big, it's just unwieldy as a pocket pouch. There is one larger bag, which we're gonna be talking about, but that's it for, as this is as large as the single, like little basic pocket pouch goes. Standard, small, and mini. And it's worth pointing out that the flap you can see it here. The flaps are a little bit longer on the small and the mini, I've got like a fuzzy. <laughs> the small and the mini are both have a longer flap than the standard, but that's because the small can actually, because the flap is longer, you can actually put quite a chunky deck and the flap will still wrap around. So that's why that's the case. Same thing with the mini. If you have a slightly longer flap, then you can put a slightly chunkier deck. So typically that's how those look. And there's always a little bit of variation because these are all handmade, but that's, they, are, they do stick to these minimum dimensions. Um, the flap can change ever so slightly from bag to bag, but that basically shows you what you've got. Okay, so let me show you the last size of pocket pouch. And that is the micro. Now this has undergone some changes. It used to be just a little bit smaller. So let me show you the old size and I'll show you the new size and we'll sh I'll show you why the changes were made and what they were made to. So this is the old size 
micro. It was the perfect size for credit cards and it could hold occasionally some little micro decks, but it was a really, really tight squeeze. So Peggy made the bag just a touch longer. So let me show you the difference here. So here is the mini. This holds a poker size bag. And let me just zoom you in so you can kind of see what we're doing here. So this holds a poker sized deck. And then the old micro came in quite a bit smaller. So it's quite a size down. And this was great, like I said, for just like tossing like a, a, a pendulum in, a little mini rune set. I've kept lots of things in these. They're, they were about credit card size. But she made them just a bit longer so that they could accommodate a wider variety of mini decks because these decks have become a lot more common. So this is an example of a mass market mini deck. And these do vary a bit in size. You'd think they'd be all exactly the same. They're not. Um, and sometimes there's also mini Lenormand decks that come in around this size. So if you have one of these little mini decks or you have like a mini Lenormand that's smaller than poker size, it probably will fit in Peggy's um, mini bag. And you can see it's still quite a bit smaller. Sorry, micro, this is micro. Let me get my words straight. It's quite a bit smaller you can see than the mini, right? It's still shorter and, sorry, shorter this way and also narrower, but it holds a really wide variety of these mini decks now without any fuss or having to fight with them. So you have room in there, which means that if you end up with a mini deck that's just a little bit taller or a little bit thicker, you have some room for it to fit. And then once you get your little mini deck in there, you just wrap the little ribbon around. These ones have a ribbon closure rather than an elastic because the elastic in this size of a bag gets a little tricky. So there you go, super convenient. Now this is one of her older ones and I actually really ended up keeping this one because it was the perfect size for my little Bitmoji Lenormand, uh, which is quite square. So it fits really nicely in her smaller one. I just, the flap doesn't wrap around quite as much as it would if the deck was a little less square. So that's perfect for that. But that is the micro. So quick recap on the pocket pouches. So we have standard, this holds a Kindle or a chunky indie deck. So that's standard, small, holds your basic tuck box sized deck. So basic or a indie deck, if it's not too terribly thick and has no guidebook or it has a really thin like little white book, you can probably get it in there, but it's gonna be much more snug. And then you have the mini, mini is sized for square little trimmed decks or poker size decks or other smaller than standard size tarot decks, playing card decks, um, little oracles like the Earthbound Oracle, anything poker or bridge size will fit pretty comfortably in the mini. And then the micro with the little ribbon, which is designed to hold little mini decks and other things like that. So that gives you an idea of the size range on the pocket pouches. The last tarot bag, let me zoom us back out here. The last tarot bag, that's currently available in Peggy's shop is, oh, no, nope, there's two more, I lied. Let's talk about the wrap bag. <laughs> so this is a single pocket wrap bag. It is the exact same size of pocket as in the standard pocket pouch that we have here, only it has a wrap. So the wrap portion, I didn't mean to twist my, uh, Elastic. I use the crap out of these. I love these. But the wrap portion opens up into a reading cloth. And you can also flip the whole thing over and you have even more reading cloth space. So you can usually do, I can do like a five card spread on the back and usually a four card spread on the front. Three or four. It depends on how wide the cards are. Um, this is actually holding right now my large um, Thoth deck, which is great for this size. Because again, this is the same size pocket you can see. Actually, this pocket came in a little bit bigger, it looks like, but it's about the same size pocket as a standard pocket pouch. Again, there's always gonna be a little bit of variance in these because they are handmade, but you're gonna have, it will hold the same amount of stuff. Like this wise, it's gonna be the same. And with these big wraps, they can have a slightly shorter pocket sometimes because you've got so much material to wrap all the way around and protect your deck. But you can see it holds the large thoth very comfortably. And then this part, just wraps all the way around. This is great if you have a deck that you wanna have extra padding and you want the also built-in feature of the um, reading cloth built right in. So that is a single pocket wrap bag. I have held really, really big decks in this because with the amount of wrapping that you get going around, so I'll just show you an example. I could put a deck that sticks out Let's pretend my deck stuck out that far. Let's say it was that wide. Like you, you're still limited in the height, but even if it was that wide, I would just wrap this around and worst case scenario, the elastic would be a bit stretched, right? But it could hold, it can hold quite a wide variety of stuff because that wrap gives you so many options. 
So this is really good. I used to keep, um, I, had an, I had the El Goliath in here. I've had um, Untrimmed Mary L, all kinds of chunky decks in these wrap pouches. These, these actually came out before Peggy created these ones with the simple envelope style. So that is a single pocket wrap. Same size as a standard pocket pouch. The last thing to talk about is her two pocket wrap bags, which we came up with this idea early on in her, early-ish on in her shop as a solution to the Llewellyn sets. So when you get a deck that comes with, this is very common with Llewellyn, you get a nice big sized guidebook and a standard sized deck in a big box, but you wanna have this together and you don't wanna keep it in the cardboard box it comes in, or you wanna travel with it, that was where the two pocket wrap bag came about. So let me show you how these work. So these open up and you have a nice reading cloth area here, which as you can see, you could do I can usually do like a six card spread with a standard size deck on here. And just like with the single pocket wrap, you can flip the entire thing over and then you have even more reading cloth space. Just be aware that this part will be a little bit raised up because it's of course thicker there, but you still have much more reading cloth space on the back. The inside is where it's really cool. So you have a pocket in the back and you have a pocket in the front. So the back pocket will match the reading cloth fabric and the front pocket will match the outside fabric, right? The fabric there. So there's a couple ways I like to use these, but they were originally designed to hold the Llewellyn sets. So the back pocket is big enough to slide your Llewellyn guidebook in. So that's the back pocket. And we still have the front pocket. And what I like to do is now I'm extra, okay, you don't have to do this. You can take your Llewellyn standard deck and just slide it in the front pocket. It will be fine. It will shift around a little bit because it's a large pocket. I like to, again, I'm extra. I like to keep the deck that goes with it in its own drawstring pouch and then I put it in there. And then the whole works, wraps up and exactly like the other sets, I just usually like to take my hand in and then flip the elastic around. Pardon the traffic noises <laughs> doing this when it's busy outside. Anyways, and there's your completed set. These are so great. I used, the, I used one of these at um, Northwest Tarot Symposium because the other thing this does really well at, in my opinion, is instead of holding a Llewellyn set, which of course it can do, um, you can, this is about the size of a um, A5 notebook. So a bullet journal or, an, or a plain, you know, A5-ish sized notebook can slide in the back. And then let's say you're going to the conference, you can have your tarot deck, and then you can have your Lenormand deck, maybe a crystal, a pen, and you can wrap the whole works up. And you've got this little travel kit that can go with you. Um, I have also slid in an A5, um, traveler's notebook in the back before it does the thicker the thicker the stuff is that you put in the less room you have but what I do most of the time so those are the two ways that I first used it most of the time what I do though is I just have two decks of any kind let's say my tarot and oracle deck for the week and I just keep them both in here and if they have separate guidebooks then I'll also tuck those in and I just use it to carry around like if I'm going to work let's say and I want to be able to do a reading at lunch I can just open this up pull out my oracle pull out my tarot and do my reading. Um, so I love these, they're so versatile. I have a little mini collection of them because these are the most useful thing in my practice because I'm usually working with two decks. Whether or not they have bigger guidebooks, I know I can bring the guidebooks along with. If the guidebook is much bigger than the Llewellyn's size guidebook, you might run into sizing issues, but basically this holds up to an A5 size book very comfortably in the back. And as long as your decks aren't super huge, like you're not gonna shove the shimmering veil, you know, in here along with books. But if I was just carrying the shimmering veil and another standard size deck and no thick books, I could totally fit that in there and I have done that. So it's a very, very versatile bag. I have such a huge pile of stuff here. So that is Peggy's full lineup. Two pocket wrap, single pocket wrap. These are the ones that open up into the reading cloths. Then we have standard pocket pouch small pocket pouch, mini pocket pouch, and micro pocket pouch. And then we have a large drawstring, standard drawstring, small drawstring, and mini drawstring. So that is Peggy's full uh, tarot bag lineup. 
and if that that should help you with sizing i hope uh the other thing that you might see pop up in her shop from time to time which i should mention really quickly before we sign off are divided bags she doesn't make them very often um they are time consuming and such these are the things you'll find the most commonly in the shop but a divided bag comes in two sizes standard or large and it has a pocket just a soft cotton divider in the middle so in your standard size uh, divided bag, you could fit, say, two small decks. So you could fit two Llewellyn size decks, one on each side, for example, um, or two tuck box size decks, one on each side. And then the large divided would hold like two chunkier decks, one on each side of the inside divider. All right, you guys, so that, that is Peggy's product lineup and sizing. I hope this helps if you're trying to figure out what size bag and what type of bag to get for which deck or which combo of decks. This is what she has. This could change in the future. Um, we could see sizes phasing out or coming in or whatnot, but this is currently her standard lineup. I hope this helps. As always, if you message the Etsy shop and ask about sizing about a particular deck, I'm usually the person that will answer that message and I will do my best based on the decks I'm familiar with to guide you in the right direction. But I hope this gives you an idea and gives you a jumping off point so that you can browse around at your heart's to your heart's desire and find what you're looking for. Thank you for hanging out with me while I went over all of Peggy's stuff. I hope this helps. I think she does incredible work. I'm really, really proud of her. And I know that she has a very, very keen eye to quality and she will not sell something she doesn't feel good about. So I just, I'm really, proud of her and I love her stuff and I have it everywhere I'm obsessed I, it's not as much as it's like yeah she's my wife I, I really like promoting her stuff uh I also genuinely genuinely love it hopefully this is helpful thank you so so much for hanging out with me while I went through everything as always I appreciate all of your guys' support and Peggy is so so grateful for all of you who love and and enjoy and give good homes to her things. It makes her really, really happy. Thanks for putting up with this entire Peggy Bag focused video. I hope it's helpful. And as always, if you have questions, drop them in the comments. If you have thoughts, drop them in the comments. And of course, there will be links to Peggy's shop in the description box and there will have been in the cards as well. Uh, pop by anytime. She does new listings usually every Thursday, usually late in the evening Pacific time. So watch for new stuff in the shop around then every week. Thank you so, so much. And may your magic always shine from the inside out. Bye.